What is the secret to a successful business transformation with S4HANA? How do you ensure that the diverse set of stakeholders scattered across domains are well aware of their own role in adapting, guiding others and embracing change? And which approach supports to achieve the highest possible adoption? The answer? Change management. In the following minutes, we will share an overview of the key activities designed to support all users in smoothly navigating their journeys towards S4HANA. We combine our experience with all types of SAP projects with change management best practices in the field. You have the system, you have the people, and now it's time to connect them together. Let's go visit a fictional company. Company Game Changers is at the brink of a global S4HANA transformation. Meet Jago, our key sponsor. And there's Emily, a business process expert that knows all about the ins and outs of her specific process domain. She will act as a key user in the program. And say hello to James. He is one of the colleagues who will work in the new system on a daily basis. It's our job to advise and guide people like Jago, Emily and James during the transition, each according to their own needs. Numerous stakeholders from different domains are involved and impacted by this program. Change management provides insights and clear actions to move each individual impacted through the necessary steps. How do we achieve this? By fostering collaboration, communication and connections among individuals, allowing us to gain crucial insights. A key role sits with our sponsor, Diego. His role is all about show and tell the need for change, while actively communicating throughout the organization and building coalitions with his peers. James, on the other hand, is more concerned with utilizing the system as an end user. What's in it for me? To answer this question, we work closely with Emily, who on her turn facilitates communication and training for James. Especially in such a large-scale program, establishing connections and clear responsibilities among sponsors, key users and change ambassadors is crucial for success. We are using a lot of different tools and templates. A few examples of change activities during the program lifecycle. We conduct several so-called PCT assessments with Diego and other stakeholders to monitor the overall program health from the perspectives of success, leadership, program management and change management. Starting with the outcomes of the Fit to Standard workshops, we identify the gap and therefore the change impact between the current state and the desired state across all different domains, such as finance, supply chain and sales and services. Using a change impact assessment, we define change interventions. This equips key user Emily with insights on how to effectively involve James. To truly embrace the changes, James is required to navigate the stages of awareness, desire, knowledge, ability and reinforcement. Role-based training and tailored communication ensures James get the right information at the right time. And ADCAR surveys enable us to manage the adoption success. S4 transformations are often accompanied by challenging timelines, budgets and business requirements. Therefore, it's crucial to celebrate achieved milestones and acknowledge and applaud all involved. Did you know that celebrating successes can make your change management approach three times more effective? How are we celebrating success? Well, I think we all know how to throw a proper party. The individual stakeholder at the core, an activity-based toolkit and celebrating success. And all backed up by best practices, previous experience and a healthy dose of pragmatism. That makes our McCoy change management approach unique. Curious for more? Tune in to more episodes of McCoy TV on change management in our dedicated playlist. 
Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Have a nice day.